Somebody could like to dance, move your body and dance. Somebody could love the way you dance. Maybe this person, maybe someone, um, you went dancing with this person, or this person loves how you move your body. We got Divine Feminine, um, order that shoe or bag and stop playing. <laughs> so Divine Feminine, some of you guys been with to order some shoes or bag. Spirit saying stop playing, order it, okay? Listen to your intuition. <laughs> so you been want to order a bag or shoes, Divine Feminine, Spirit says stop playing and order it, okay? Some of you guys could, um, need, to, need to move your body and dance, you know? You know when you move your body, you know, um, you raise your frequency. So some of you guys need to move your body, okay? So, anything else, Holy Spirit? Hmm. Somebody could be definitely uh, thinking about getting close to you, wanting to get next to you. Spirit is saying real love is coming in, Divine Feminine. Or divine masculine, you know, take our resonate. Um, spirit is saying you're about to live your best life. So you're about to li live your best life. Real love is coming in for you, okay? Someone in laws could be giving them the evil eye or jealous of them, okay? Let's see some more. Um, they would say, let's see your intuition, stop playing. The Bible family, by this, by this shoes, by that bag. You guys be living to your best life, okay? <laughs> well, some of you could be saying, I'm waiting for the bag to come in. Let's see your intuition, okay? Some of you, you don't even need no more shoes and bags. You got enough. <laughs> but you still want, you would still want more for me. <laughs> Give me uh, more messages, Holy Spirit. Let's see. Let's go for this day. Ooh. Somebody is saying, I am sick without your love. Mm. Somebody going through it. Somebody like, what am I supposed to do without you? Secret cameras, phone tap. Mm. Something about a secret camera. Or somebody's phone could be tapped. You know, take a high resonate. That's not going to apply for everybody. But if your intuition was, you know, feeling this or you thinking this, here's your confirmation. Somebody feels unworthy of you. Something that's been important about April. Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me more. I heard VIP. <laughs> job promotion. Someone is about to get a job promotion. I heard VIP. Um, I love playing the victim to get people to feel bad for me. So if somebody loves playing the victim. They like um, getting people to feel bad for them. I lie on you and laugh about it. It makes me feel better. So this is somebody who lies on you and, you know, laughs about it. It makes them feel better. This is a karmic energy. Somebody saying, I know I messed everything up. They did, right? They did. And they was out here playing victim, not, you know, not taking accountability, you know, um, having, you know, getting people to feel bad for them when they know they wronged you. And then this is somebody who lies on your name and then turn around and laughs about it because it makes them feel better. Black magic. Yeah, this whoever this person is, yeah, somebody is very insecure. Okay. We got 1111 here. This could be somebody's twin. Okay. Yeah. Give me more. What's this? I love. Um, I love playing a victim and pe um, to get people to feel bad for me. And this is somebody who who turned around and would just laugh behind the scenes. Yeah, because it makes them feel better. This is a, a very evil spirit. We got self care. So you could be doing some self care. Okay. Focusing on yourself, self care, self love, taking care of yourself, meditating. Yeah, you just, you know, you feeling yourself, you into yourself, you know? Self-love, taking care of yourself. Mm-hmm. Focused on you. Spirit is saying you are the chosen one. Yeah. And somebody was dealing with a fuck boy, of course. <laughs> I mean, it's only obvious with this type of energy, okay? They lied on you, they laughed about it to make themselves feel better. Yeah, this person fake as fuck. 
Yeah, this is somebody who gives you the evil eye. That's somebody who watches you all the time. You could be a water sign or dealing with a water sign. Five, five, five. There's some changes here. This person could be going through change. Okay, this is somebody who has mommy and daddy issues that they need to heal from. Um, I never thought I'd be into romantic shit until you came into the picture. So this is somebody who, who wasn't um, expecting to fall in love, you know? Be into romantic type, you know, romantic type of stuff until they ran into you. This is somebody who was used to, you know, roaming the streets, you know, doing what they want to do, playing victim, never taking accountability, you know? Um, this is somebody who at one point in time, but this could have been in the past, you know, we're going to get to the tarot later. But this could have been somebody who's just, like I said, lie on your name and, you know, and then laugh about it later because it made them feel good, you know, to play victim, to have people looking at you a certain type of way. This person is saying, I don't, um, I don't love them. I love you. you could be dealing with a Virgo, Libra, Cust. Okay. What's this? I don't love them. I love you. Yeah, I'm hearing you guys, chosen ones, I heard VIP, you guys are going to be shining. Yeah, I don't love them, I love you, a karmic female, so they don't love the karmic female. They love you, divine family, they chose the one. Spirit is saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets, no harm. Yeah, this is why this person is going through changes and, and karma, because Spirit said, touch not my anointed and do my prophets, no harm. Somebody, somebody played in your face, they lied on your name. Um... They may have done, they have gotten away with it because nothing could have ha uh, possibly happened to them right away. But this person is experiencing some type of karma for what they did to you. Yeah, it's fair to say you already know the answers. Love yourself first. I feel like that's exactly what you're doing with the self-care. Somebody is watching you, um, you know, <clears throat> watching you love on yourself, you know. There's a karmic fe uh, feminine here. Okay, this could be the karmic feminine that's giving you the evil eye. Because this person is saying, I don't love them. I love you. Okay? So this karmic feminine could be very jealous. <clears throat> okay? Yeah, because they, this karmic could like, see you living your best life. I feel like uh, whoever the, the, the F boy or F girl is, it can how it resonate. Um, they see you living your best life. What's this? You got new love here. This person, uh, somebody, they have secrets they keep it from you. Well, you already know. The Spirit is saying that whatever answers you need, they are coming, okay? If you look up a signs and answers and clarity, just ask the divine and they definitely will give them to you. Soulmate. So you got new love here. Um, oh, okay. We are married in a 5D already? Okay, so whoever this soulmate is, for some of you guys, you got a proposal coming in marriage um, that's forming in a 3D. For others of you guys, if it's not like an actual marriage or a proposal, it's just this person wants to offer you something, a high level, you know, commitment, you know, something that can lead into a uh, marriage, you know? But there's a new love that's coming in, okay? The soulmate, and we are married. We are married in a 5D already, okay? So something is something is already uh, manifesting at this time for you. Yeah, Divine Feminine, so you're just focusing on you, taking care of you, self-care, you know? Loving on yourself, enjoying your own company, you know, moving your body, you know, to the rhythm of the feet. <laughs> it says, you are more powerful than you think. So Spirit is saying, you are more powerful than you think, okay? Divine feminine, divine masculine. Somebody wants your whole entire life, and they can't have it. They can't have your life. They can't have, they can't have your position. They can't have none of that. Unless you didn't want it anymore. And then they still wouldn't be able to have it. Okay? Yeah, look at this. So you got a new life. You're getting a new life. I heard VIP. And when I said VIP, Spirit said job promotion. Okay? Yeah. Somebody gets reading on you. Spirit said a tough cycle has definitely ended. Um, someone was very sneaky. Okay? It's not, it's not your fault that they held on to their childhood traumas and you didn't. So, you heal from your childhood traumas. Um, you decided to make peace with, um, you know, your inner child. You're protecting your inner child. Um, you know, you have healed that part of you. And Spirit is saying, it's not your fault that they held on to their childhood traumas and you didn't. 
Yeah, you let go. You know, you let go. You healed that part of yourself. And of course, you didn't heal your childhood traumas in, you know, two days or three days. And over time, you know, you healed that part of yourself. And that's why you got a new life, you know? With the self-care, you have self-love for yourself, you know? Um, this is the one who's codependent, you know? Um, out here, you know, lying on people's name and then laughing behind the scenes because it makes them feel better. This is a, a grown-ass adult that's very childish, okay? Um, you could be a Gemini or dealing with a Gemini. The spirit is saying something that's not real love. Yeah. Mm. So let's move right along. Right along. But some of you guys, let me, get, let me use this there. Uh, <clears throat> some of you guys, you're going to be, uh, you and this person, you and this new love going to be going out dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fun times is coming in for you. Fun times is coming in. Yeah, spirit is saying, do you, boo. Spirit is saying, do you. Somebody is mad because I heard because you're a star, you're shining, or some type of wish that's coming in for you. Spirit said, "Do you boo? Yeah, do you energy? It's a, yeah, these people are upset with your energy, and I'm hearing you like whatever, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, focus on happiness, happiness, black magic, lovers. Mm. I'm getting with this when this new love come in. You need to keep this to yourself, okay? Yeah, ancestors is here. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys, um, you guys, you're gonna be relocated or have relocated, or you're gonna be meeting this person when you relocate. Spirit is saying, keep this new love to yourself, okay? Everybody don't need to know your business, okay? <clears throat> Everybody don't need to know your business, okay? Because you got people that you know that don't want the best for you, you know. <clears throat> Not saying you gotta hide it, but just you know. <clears throat> Just be wary of certain energies, you know? Let them think whatever, okay? Because it's what that. <laughs> yeah. Spirit is saying, um, it says, plants, um, sage is needed. And I, look, I said, let me light this sage again. Did I say that? And then I lit it, right? Thank you, Holy Spirit. I know what I'll be feeling. <laughs> I know what I'll be feeling. Yeah, look at this celebration so there's a celebration listen you got to be celebrating some type of accomplishments um parties graduations what is achievement but something is big that's coming in like i said for a lot of you guys you're getting a promotion at your job or you're getting another job um or you you know you're getting more money at that job something is happening okay mm -hmm. Yeah, toxic as fuck and relocate. So some of you guys could be, you know, um, deciding to, you know, change your environment, okay? Move away from a, you know, an area. Um, for others of you guys, um, Spirit is saying you already know what to do. Or this could just be you guys just uh, with this energy, you moving, you know, you um, pulling your energy back from energies that no longer serve you, that you feel like is very low vibrational. Okay, I feel like you guys are aligning with energies that's of your highest good. Spirit is putting you, um, putting people on your path um, that's like-minded like you, um, that's have ascended just like you. Um, people that is, that's happy in their life already with the happiness. People that's already celebrating their life. People that's already doing good in their life. They don't when they when you meet these people, you don't have to worry about them hating on you or or giving you the evil eye or being petty towards you because these people are already content and good where they at. So I just feel like um, spirit is just um, aligning you with those type of energies, with the relocated energy. You know, as you as people leave out your life, you got better ones coming in. You know. Yeah, message ancestor. 
Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Abundance. Look at this. Look at this. Abundance. Surprise. What did I say? Surprise. And what it is? Lover. Yeah. You have somebody also who is delusional as hell, okay, that just just can't stand to see you happy because they're not happy, okay? Um, I'm hearing your answers is going to take care. You know, the most high God is, is definitely going to keep you protected. And anyone that's trying to get in your way, spirit is not going to allow, allow that to happen, okay? <clears throat> Because somebody is just like, you just be over here just doing you. It's like, you know? <clears throat> Spirit wants you away. Yeah, look, release. Whoever you release, they want your forgiveness, rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. So somebody, somebody rejected you for a, a karmic female. And now they are regret and they want your forgiveness, okay? But I feel like you released that energy. Yeah, passion and vulnerability. Mm. I feel like with the passion and vulnerability, you could be completely open with this person. Uh, with passion, um, try something you never done before. I feel like whoever this new love that's coming in, you could definitely be vulnerable with them. You can definitely, um, you know, um, you, you, you're going to feel safe, you know. Um... You're gonna feel safe around them. Um, possibly, you know, some of you guys, you know, you've been very celibate, you know. Um, I feel like who your next person spirit is saying, you know, you could be you could be you could let your guard down, you know, you could be completely open with this person. This person is totally different from your past. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Finances. Instability. This relationship can stay in the test of time. Wow. So whoever you're going into connection with, it's gonna um, both of you. It's like <clears throat> I feel like you stable and the person you come into contact with, they're stable as well. Somebody else could be having financial issues and they're watching you live your best life. They're obsessing over you. Okay, this is somebody who you released from your the, your past because you felt like um, with the integrity they didn't align with your values and your and your morals with the leap of faith. I feel like um, this is like the food card. You know, you freed yourself. You know, you got a new beginning um, with the children card. Um, children can be involved. For others of you guys, I feel like you just felt like this person. You know, the energy was very childish. <clears throat> Give me more spirit. Give me more. Thank you. Yep. Time apart and marriage. Okay. So some of you guys, you guys been, you know, single for a while already. Um, the spirit is saying your next um, relationship is going to definitely lead to a high level commitment. Okay. Um, with the marriage part being, I cannot make it up. <laughs> mm. I would just chat and turn it over new love. Yes, because you learned some type of spiritual lesson from the past. You have healed. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever the soulmate is, it's faded. Yeah. Yeah. Something is faded. I feel like whatever was from your past, you, had, you and this person was on two different pages. Okay? Two different pages. But with the soulmate in faith, something is faded. <clears throat> Spirit saying with this new love, you know, go slow, take your time, okay? <clears throat> somebody else is just, you know, somebody else from your past just want to, you know, I, I'm just picking up on energy and just want to use and abuse, you know? Uh, may, you know, I don't know, maybe you guys' relationship was, um, you know, maybe um, somebody, you had a, a very passionate relationship with somebody because this passion card sticking out to me. Or somebody just want to just get close to somebody so they can have that, you know, that, that, that. That divine energy, you know, that Kundalini type of stuff, you know, they need some of that healing, okay? And you, it's a big, it's a big, big no for you, okay? Yeah, the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. I feel like you learn some type of, after finding out some type of truth, you learn some type of spiritual lesson, you heal from that, um, after finding out something, and you're just moving on. Yeah, separation. <clears throat> yeah, the rising phoenix. 
new phase, we can do renew, transformation, growth, and change. Yeah, whoever you, whoever you've been separated from, I feel like um, you have grown into this rising phoenix. You know, you could have found out some things about this person that, you know, didn't sit sit well in your spirit when it came to, you know, your integrity and stuff, and you decided to. Ooh, confirmation spirit bro you decided to heal yourself from the situation focused on you with the self-care okay and you know spirit is saying you guys are ready spirit is is bringing in a new love for you Ooh, the grin reaper and cupid's arrow uh, cupid's arrow have faith in love love is coming surprise invitation or meeting and the grin reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life Oh, the Grim Reaper is here. Something is over with from the past. Cupid's arrow. Okay. Um, spirit is saying, have faith in love. Love is coming. You're about to be surprised. Some of you guys can be so focused on you guys, you know, yourself. You haven't even been, you know, thinking about new love. Or, you know, maybe you guys have been so focused on your career, you know, and, um, you know, obtaining your energy, keeping it balanced, keeping it cleansed. And, you know, but Spirit is saying, whoever this person that's coming in, you're already married to them and a uh, 5D. For some of you guys, you can even have like a visual of this person. Maybe you've been dreaming about this person. Uh, for some of you guys, energetically, I feel like you feel something is coming in. You feel it. You just, you know, it just probably had to come in. Look at this under the bottom. Wedding rings. Okay. Oh, wedding rings, the snake, and the sword, um, the sword and roll. So some of you guys could have found out somebody was married or, you know, put you in a third party. Okay. Yeah, what a goddamn karmic. <laughs> yeah, they snaked you for a karmic. Had you in competition with a karmic. I wouldn't even call it competition. Because for a lot of you guys, this person lied to you. You know, I mean, and a karmic could never compete with a divine feminine <laughs> or divine masculine. You know, this person had to lie. If somebody knew, they would have kept it real with you. They would even, I mean, they wouldn't even been in your presence. <laughs> but with the sword and rose being here, clarity, truth, Okay, it's definitely coming in. You found out somebody was married or dealing with just with a karmic female. But Spirit is saying you have ascended. Yeah, you could have definitely went through some type of heartbreak, heartbreak and acts. Yeah, after some breakup, you you have ascended, you know? So, you know, this heart, um, whatever this heartbreak or the separation that you have gone through with someone, um, I feel like, you know, this person was put in your life to teach you some type of lessons. And it could have been, born, you know, had something to do about um, boundaries or, you know, you loving yourself more. Um, you know, because, you know, God do everything, you know, with purpose. So there was some type of lessons you need to learn. Um, yeah, but I feel like you definitely got deeply hurt in the situation. But you learned the spiritual lesson. You have ascended. Okay. So, so that heartbreak, you know, whatever you went through, you have a said that, you know, um, I'm here into a higher dimension. Mm. So, I mean, what, what seemed like a heartbreak at the time, because, you know, you know, I'm, I'm not going to take away that, you know, you guys was hurt, but it actually ascended you, you know, mentally, physically, spiritually. Yeah, engagement rings and palm trees, stability, security, growth. Endurance, flexibility, engagement rate, engagement rate, partnership, commitment, eternal um, love. Yeah, yeah, so we got yeah, something is ooh, something is happening, okay? Now, somebody else from your past could be wanting to spin a block, you know, uh, want to make things right, you know, want to come in and, you know, say the right things, you know. <clears throat> So let's just see. Knight of Swords. I can't make it up. They could be one. Somebody could be one. I'm going to rush in. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, not eight of Pentacles. Somebody want to rush in. But Spirit said, we're going to focus on the new lady. Spirit said, you got to be living your best life. You got to be living your best life. The Bible Feminine, one of that bad that shit was not playing. <laughs> okay, chosen one. Yeah, spirit said move your body and dance, okay? Yeah, listen to your intuition. <clears throat> Give me more on this energy, Holy Spirit. I don't just mess the whole thing up. Okay. Give me more. You can see the Queen of Wands. You guys are very confident at this time, okay? We have the Justice card and the King of Pentacles. 
Woo! Justice card. We got um Libra energy, um King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Ooh. That's that job promotion. I'm telling you, somebody about to get a big job promotion spirit is saying. Okay? You're about to get a job promotion spirit. So that's your justice. Okay? That is your justice. I feel like because you had integrity, you know, you had integrity, you you know, you uh you you know you stood on your you know your values and you you know your your truth and your your morals, you know? You were someone who was very faithful. <clears throat> I feel like you accomplish a lot, you know, you work really hard. Yeah. Somebody, ooh. Somebody, yeah, us. The two of swords was under the bottom. <clears throat> yeah. Two of swords to the full card. I feel like what somebody else is just blocked from your energy. Give me more of the spirit. Give me more. Thank you. So we have the page of cups. The death card, and we have the five of cups. Okay, so somebody um, is in regret um, that something is over with. They want to apologize um, to you guys. Mm -mm. Somebody could be uh, the king of pentacles to the page of cups. It could be an age difference between someone. Okay, definitely an age difference. Yeah, somebody is watching. Okay, or trying to spy. Okay. Uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles under the bottom. Okay. Just feel like, yeah, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. You got a whole new thing coming in that's going to lead to marriage. Okay. It's like you being gifted with a Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, a lot, a lot, a lot of Seven of Cups. You got a bunch of options. Okay. You got a bunch of options. Okay. And your pants is upset. Your pants, the page of Cups to the Death card, Five of Cups. Your past, it's like, you know, whoever these energies from your past, the page of cups to the death card, five of cups, it's like, they in regret. They in regret, so to see, they in regret, okay? <clears throat> this somebody who's dreaming about you, thinking about you, okay? Um, I feel like you went through some, you went through a, a powerful um, transformation, okay? You just not the same person anymore, and that's why you're getting a new beginning. But with the five of cups being here, somebody is in regret about it, you know? They is in regret. But we have the seven of cups, the eight of pentacles. I feel like you just have a, you're going to have a lot of options, a lot of people, you know, attracted to you, a lot of people want to work with you. And that's why I said earlier, I feel like spirit is just aligning you um, you know, on the path where, where people who's, um, like-minded like you, people who, uh, who, who going to be able to, who, who going to be able to celebrate you, celebrate with you and not, you know, have the evil eye or, or not feel like they in lack or, you know, anything, you know, you're going to be celebrating with people on your, on your, on your frequency, you know, people who are doing well, just like you. This is Seven of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. You got a lot of options, a lot of choices, a lot of opportunity that's coming in. Because, you know, Spirit just align you with the right people. These other people, is just, they, you know, it, something is over with. Okay? Um, I seen the Two of Swords in the Fool card earlier. They are blocked from your energy. You know, this this new beginning, this new path is for all new, new. That's what I'm getting. We got the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. There's a love the offer that's coming in. Whoever this new love is, Spirit is saying that it's faded. This is somebody who you're going to build a Ten of Pentacles life with. Okay? Yeah. I feel like with this Ten of Pentacles, I feel like this is something that your ancestors, uh, <laughs> yeah, they bring in this new love, man. They want you to have this person. I can't really show this card, but ooh, they want you to have this person. Yeah, they said eight of they said they want you to have that person. He has six of cups, knight of pentacles, three of wands. Somebody been trying to delay you from moving on. The three of wands, the knight of the knight of pentacles, and the six the six of cups. Hmm. Yeah, Knight of Swords, the Devil card. Yeah, who is this person? This person been trying the Knight of Swords or the Devil. Somebody from your past. Um, we say Black Magic earlier could have been possibly trying to, um, you know, send a tax your way. Three of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups to delay you from moving forward. But it all backfired. You rebuke that. You rebuke that in the name of Jesus. You, you rebuke it. Yeah. Because your path is clear now. It's nothing that no. It's nothing that they can do. Okay, somebody could also be wanting you to feel, 
you know, the devil card can be fear as well, making you feel like, you know, you stuck or, you know, you can't move on. Yes, you can. You get injustice the first card out. Justice the first card out of that is beautiful. I mean, whatever's happened is going to be made fair. Look back to the bottom, the star card. And what did I say earlier? I said there's some type of wish that you're getting, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eight of cup. After you walked away. Yeah. Two of swords to the full card. Somebody from your past been trying to block you. Yeah. Four of cups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they feel like four of cups to the two of cups, they feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you. Could be dealing with a water sign, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the star card, Aquarius. <clears throat> Give me a card in the start. But you have to get, there's a wish that's coming in for you since you, you decided to walk away from a such yeah. Ace of Pentacles to the shrimp card. <laughs> yeah. You have to hate me because you decided to sacrifice a situation that no longer serves you. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a card on the star. Thank you. The tower. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Something is shocking. Something is shocking the way how you move forward. Yeah. I feel like what was also what was shocking, you received some type of clarity, you know? Mm -hmm. You received some type of clarity or truth about a situation, and you decided to close out that cycle. Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands to Nine of Swords to the Shrift card. I feel like you've been through something, you know? You, um, you went through something, but you didn't give up. You know, it could have been very difficult as well. But you learned from your past mistakes, you know? Um, and you're moving on, you know? The swords is about truth, the clarity. I feel like you had to strip the courage to keep going. Yeah. <clears throat> the imprint of the three is swords. This could have been your, you know, your twin flame, but somebody, um, somebody could have broke your heart, or somebody could be heartbroken because you're going. The lovers. <clears throat> Give me part of the lovers. Yeah. I feel like you just you made a you made a a choice to get the sun card. <laughs> you made a choice to choose you with that self care to choose you. Yeah, three of cups, and now you go. What it says? You got celebrating out here. You got the abundance, happiness. I see celebration somewhere in here. Yeah, celebration. Three of cups. You about to be celebrating. Mm -hmm. You chose you, and that's all spirit wanted you. That's what I'm saying. Some of you guys, this person could have been put on your path to teach you some type of lesson. Okay. <clears throat> But some of you guys um, who don't resonate with a twin flame, you're about to actually meet your twin flame. Okay? Yeah, nine of pinnacles. <laughs> King of swords. Ace of swords. The chariot. Damn. Yeah. You guys could have been in this King of swords energy for a while, you know, being very disciplined. Um, <clears throat> you know, being very logical about things. You know, but Spirit is saying um, Six of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you about to be, I'm telling you, whoever, you, these people that's coming into your life that you, Spirit is aligning you with, you're going to be working and teaming up with people. It's going to be very, Three of Pentacles to the Six of Wands, it's going to be very successful. Okay? Okay, these are people who work hard, um, that wants to collab with you, partner with you. Um, I do. I see a lot of rewards and success coming in for you guys. A lot of victory with the chariot. I feel like you had the self discipline, um, you know, to persevere for what no longer served you. It's given like you know you was focused, you know, to triumphant. You know, you had control and determination to keep pushing. You know, so there's a victory that's coming in. Ace of Swords, you know, Spirit is saying that's the truth, you know, you receive some type of truth and clarity. You guys gonna be receiving a lot of new ideas at this time. You guys need to write them down take action this is the time to complete tasks and you have tasks that you've been doing and you know you didn't finish it this is the time that you need to be you know focusing on that um there but also with this ace of swords i just feel like you get a lot of new contracts that's coming in you know and you're going to have past people that's going to be in a lot of regret you know but with the king of swords to the ace of swords ooh, king of swords to the ace of swords for me i'm just going to say that's archangel michael coming in protecting you um, dropping truth and clarity, you know, um, you know, them downloads, you know, um, you know, making sure you get these messages, you know, so you guys could know what's going on, you know, exactly, I can't make it up high priestess energy, 
give you guys a download so you know what's going on. High priest to the nine of cups, ace of wands. I can't make it up. Seven of pentacles, child, baby, you gonna be ace of wands to the seven of pentacles. Listen, long term investments, new beginnings, <laughs> a lot of creative sparks, a lot of traveling, a lot of good news that's coming in. The full card. This is you having a brand new beginning. Mm -hmm. I love when I see the nine of cups to the star. I always say, close your eyes and make a wish, son. Close your eyes and make a wish. You got the knight of wands. What's the knight of wands energy? Ooh. Knight of wands is the knight of pentacles. So you could have been, like I said, you could have been dealing with somebody before who you know was, you know, was. What's this card? The ten of swords. Yeah, it's somebody who was slow to give an offer. The Knight of Wands, somebody who was a player who wanted to, you know, do what they wanted to do. Ten of Swords. Um, I feel like the worst is over. Yeah, Seven of Swords. This lion, sneaky, deceptive. The worst is over. The Tempest card being here. Okay? Yeah. Archangel Michael is definitely protecting you from someone who just, you know, they're... You, you know, I feel like you, you, you're protected. You learned the lesson. And you know, it, it, like I said, it might have hurt it, but they 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 caught you just in time, you know. Because this is somebody who just uh, no spirit said no. Okay, you need to, you need to treat yourself um, and see yourself how they see you, and they see you as royalty. Okay, this is somebody that does not deserve your energy. This is a very flighty, immature energy that just want to. It's giving the energy just like. I want to. I want to say I know that person, or you know, I I, I want to say I want to feel good about myself just saying that I, I'm with that person. Like no, <laughs> the moon card, please. The moon card to the ten of cups, possibly hiding me two of cups, possibly hiding relationships, family, marriage, all types of stuff. What's the moon card? Secrets and all of this stuff. King of cups could have been dealing with a water sign. You could be a water sign. King of cups energy. What's this? The shrimp card in reverse. This person is feeling weak without you. What's the shrimp card in reverse? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel weak without you because you ain't giving to them no more. Yeah, two of swords, they're blocked. <laughs> oh, sure. You blocked them from your energy. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. You standing on business. Mm hmm. Yep, and you're confident about it too, Queen of Swords. <laughs> standing on business, standing on business. <clears throat> yeah, period, Empress. You're standing on business. Empress to the Six of Swords. There you go. Moving on, moving on. Thank you, Max. Um, the uh, Seven of Wands in reverse, okay? Mm. There's somebody who was out here. No, they was, they was being... Uh, Somebody wasn't mm -mm, being reckless. What's the seven of wands in the room? That's somebody who don't they don't want you to be they don't want you to be um they don't want you to stand your ground. They don't want you to be um that you know protect your energy from them. Yeah, the will of fortune. Yeah. I feel like whoever this player is or whoever this person you was dealing with. That wasn't out here protecting their energy, protecting themselves. Um, mm -mm. Will of Fortune. What's the Will of Fortune? Yeah, something changed. Two of Cups. Yeah, Ace of Cups. We say you get a new love because I'm going to be honest with you. Whoever that person is, they the Magician card, Four of Pentacles, they're going to come back trying to manipulate you, Four of Pentacles, just to hold on to you. Spirit is saying this person ain't going to change. They ain't going to change. Okay? Here, you got ace of cups and two of cups, okay? Got three aces out here. All for you, son, Steve. All for you, all for you. Yeah, the emperor to the devil, that is a narcissist. Somebody who's very controlling. Yeah. So, let's get you guys some signs. We're gonna move right along, son, Steve. We're gonna move right along. We're not staying in the energy. Okay, congratulations. Hope it's gonna look good. Give me some signs, Holy Spirit. We have Virgo, Cancer, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, Leo, 
and we have Gemini. Okay. So we're gonna leave it right there. So